for quite some time now, we've been providing support to, to customs in the area of Conseil um, by having a Coast Guard team stationed at that location. Um, through interagency collaboration, cooperation, coordination, yesterday at around 2 p.m., a joint task a joint task force operation was conducted uh, with the, the customs and the, the BDF personnel stationed um, at Consejo. Um, we know based on information received that um, that area is a corridor for contraband and narco-trafficking. Um, the patrol was conducted um, up the Rio Hondo in the area of Estero or Ramanal on the Mexican side and a vessel was, a small vessel was sighted and upon seeing the, the security forces, um, the modus operandi is usually they would abandon the vessel and leave the content behind. Um, the team quickly responded and a search of the area was conducted where a quantity of cannabis was discovered. Um, to be precise, it was 6.8 pounds of, of cannabis. Um, so it was seized and we brought it here to Coast Guard headquarters um, after we spoke with our customs counterparts and this morning it was handed over to the anti-narcotics unit. Do you know if these drugs were destined for Belize or to the Mexican side of the border? It was destined for the Belizean market. Um, we, we know that much of the, the high-grade cannabis that hits the Belizean market is currently being transported from Mexico. Um, so we know it was coming from Mexico for the Belizean market. In fact, just yesterday evening, again, a joint task force operation that we conduct with the police and the Belize Port Authority at the marinas here in Belize City. Um, the team discovered a package that was destined for San Pedro. Um, they found, um, again, the high-grade cannabis in one of the packages that was randomly searched. So we can see it is, a, it is prevalent and it is something that we, we, we look for while conducting operations.